Hey, what's up YouTubers? It's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to create an app selector switch in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to start by selecting our rounded rectangle tool over here and left click anywhere on the artboard. You can set a width and a height. It doesn't matter what you select because we will be changing those in a moment. The corner radius, make this as high as you can. If you select 200, 400, 600, it makes no difference because there's only so much you can round off a corner. So as you can see here, my corners are rounded to the absolute maximum to create some rounded ends on the left and the right side. And I'm going to increase the weight of the stroke a little bit. So we've got the shape for our selector. Now we're going to go back over to the rounded rectangle tool, left click and hold and select the ellipse tool. And holding shift, we're going to left click and drag, and that creates a perfect circle. Now with this circle selected, we're gonna click these two arrows here and swap the fill and the stroke. And to align both of these, we can select them both, go up to the top here and click vertical align center. You can do it by eye, but this way just ensures that it's exactly in place and lined up. And now using the scale tool or by holding shift and alt, just going to bring this down a little bit. So holding shift keeps it shaped like a circle and doesn't skew it in any way and holding alt will adjust the size from the center point. So if I let go of the alt button, if I do that again with the alt button, not held, you'll see it will scale from the bottom left corner. But when I do it holding alt, it does it from the center. And I'm just going to drag that one back in there. And you can zoom in just to make sure you get the, uh, the spacing right. So we want this gap here to be equal to the width of the stroke around the edge. So there we go, I think that looks about right. Now, as I said before, you can select your rounded rectangle. And because you've created it as a rounded rectangle, you can drag the end to make it as long or as short as you like and it will still retain this radius it won't skew that out of shape so I'm gonna make mine a bit shorter and there we go we've got our selector button now let's give it some color so this is going to be an on state so I'm gonna pick a green make sure you tick the preview box so you can see how it's going to look And I'm going to add a background as well. So let's create my background. My artboard size is 3000 pixels high and 3000 pixels wide. So I'm just going to drag that in place. I'm going to pick a color for this. Something like that, I think. And then I can go up to object, transform, no object arrange send to back and then I can go to object and with it still selected lock the selections now this background is locked so I can't accidentally select it or edit it or delete it when I'm working on the selector icon itself so now I'm going to select the outline and I'm going to select for the outline the same color as the background and then I'm going to go up to this one here it's color guide and it gives you a few variations lighter and darker around that color and then you can select the new swatch button and make a swatch out of that color now you can create two different types of selector we've got one here with the outline or we can make a copy of this by left clicking and holding alt and shift to create a copy and we can simply select this outline and swap the fill and the stroke so this is a more linear one on top and this bottom one is a solid style okay so this is linear with the lines around the edge and this is a solid fill button so two different styles there so what we can do now is drag these over again holding alt and shift 
and we can set these to the off state. So what we can do is select all these on the right, go up to Object, Transform, Reflect. Make sure you reflect it along the vertical axes and it will swap the button to the other side. And now I'm going to select this here and change that from green to the dark blue. And for the bottom one, I'm going to change that to the background color. In fact, let's, let's stack these differently. So if I just move these over here and position that one there. So on the left, we have the linear style buttons with the selector on and off, and on the right, we have the solid style buttons on and off. And there we go, we've created our app selector switch in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it was helpful, let me know by clicking that like button, and I'll see you next time. Take care.